good means that a thing is what it's intended to be. Like a good cup holds liquids for us to drink. Now, a cup that has a hole in it, it becomes a bad cup because it does not do what it was intended to do. It is lacking the wholeness and suitability to its purpose that it once had. It has what the early church father Augustine called a privation, a lack. Evil cannot exist unless goodness, and existence is a good thing, existed first. Evil's parasitic. With that in mind, God created mankind to be in relationship with him, not just to exist for his own purpose. Now, kind of like what uh, Thomas said earlier, a lion might eat a man, but we don't call that lion evil. It's just doing what he does. Lions eat things. They're carnivores. But a human made in the image of God has more than a lion. A person has free will. A person can choose to do good or evil. A world with free creatures such as man is better than a world of dumb brutes or robots. Mm -hmm. That is a freely chosen love. Creating a wind-up doll that says, I love you, is completely meaningless. But when your child says, I love you, when they're small especially, it means the world. And uh, in the case of suffering, if you think of suffering as an evil, it can be a good thing. We talked a little bit about that earlier. Every athlete and every scholar will tell you that their suffering led to a greater good for them. Every doubt that a Christian has when pursued to the correct answer leads to a deeper faith. So not all suffering is bad. So I, I think with a bigger picture view, you, you see that uh, evil is limited and is parasitic. It's not original and it wasn't created.